Hey, today it's time to talk about every single trick to increase your honor gain and tell you about the best ways to get honor. Doesn't matter if you want to farm Orboville boxes for marks of honor, upgrading your player versus player gear, or do the longest game in the entire game called honor level 500, I got you covered. As usual, the list isn't in any specific order, but I will try to match them together. Now the most obvious gain is being alliance. You get 50% enlistment bonus from simply being alliance, and most importantly also having quick queue times. Generally, even if you lose, you will get more honor compared to Horde winning the BG, but going on a big losing streak does feel really bad. Some advice for people who are alliance on the French or German servers, try to queue into English groups, either with the help of a friend from an English server, or straight up having a level 60 on an English server. As otherwise you will have to play with French alliance or German alliance, and the win rate with those are really bad. Now I don't want to be rude, but that is just how it is. Another good reason is as an English short player, for example, due to the huge player base, or again, German slash French alliance players. If you do a queue at like 4 a.m., you will probably not get a kick view, if even uh, any queue at all. But as an English alliance player, you almost always get a queue going. All the players can also mercenary to alliance battlegrounds and boards via the battleground recruiter in either Legion Dalaran or Oribos and pop it from short queue times. However, you will not get the enlistment buff. Simply click the dialogue and you will get granted the mercenary contract, which puts you into the alliance group after queuing up. Next up, we have the spoils of war buff. Added in late 9.1.5 and it buffs the owner's honor gain by 40%. This buff is only temporarily and will be turned off after the season ended, but will hopefully be re-added after some time into the next season. It was created to have an easier time farming honor to upgrade your PvP gear, and it is questionable that a buff like this needs to exist, as I simply could lower the honor requirements to upgrade your gear. Nonetheless, fantastic buff, even more so if you farm honor for marks of honor or generally honor levels. Our third buff is the Battleground bonus event. During this time, you will get the sign of battle buff, which increases the amount of honor you earn from Battleground objectives and wins by 50%. There's also a quest to win 4 battlegrounds during the event, which you can pick up in your adventure journal and grants you 1k honor, which also can be increased with banners. More on that in a second. As you just get more honor in every type of battleground content, including epic battlegrounds and boards. The event is up every 7 weeks. The fourth buff and first actual item you can use are the three banners, namely Banner of Cooperation, Standard of Unity and Battle Standard of Coordination and all three of them get unlocked via guild achievements. Banner of Cooperation increases the honor gain by 5% and can be bought from the guild vendor after. I'm actually not so sure what exactly the requirements are nowadays. Before the profession skill level update, the guild had to have all professions maxed at 575, which was from Classic till Mr. Pedavia. Not sure if Warlords of Dwenor and later skill points count towards the 575. Standard of Unity, the 10% banner, can be bought from the guild vendor after completing the 9 patch 4.0 dungeons as a guild group. A guild group is 3 members or more from the same guild in the same dungeon. The third banner, the battle standard of coordination, can be bought after the guild did 15,000 dailies. Since Legion there are many hidden daily quests, so many guilds get it by accident. And most spam advice guilds also probably have it unlocked. For the banners itself, each banner is up for 15 minutes, given you are not going vastly out of range, have a 10 minute cooldown, have a shared 2 minute cooldown between each banner, they do not stack, and if you happen to play with a guildmate, the banner is also active for them. While it does say from killing monsters, it works for almost everything, given you can use the banner. That does include things like the end of a battlegound win slash lose, so recommend to use the 15% banner shortly before the battlegound is over and the 10% banner during the battle itself. Overall the banners are great and can be used for other stuff as well, such as reputation farming from kills, for example for Venari Paragon Cage, and simply leveling if you do lots of dungeons or killings. Epic battlegrounds. Epic battlegrounds grant you 10 honor per 60 seconds before any modifiers and is separated from your normal battleground queue. They also have no specific language queue compared to the normal battlegrounds or boys. As you are only one person out of 40, it is usually picked as the best honor farm if you want to do some relaxing farming. You can have some impact in some battlegrounds, for example retapping a tower or bunker in the Altavec Valley as a stealth class, but overall you really can't change the outcome of a match much. While there are four different epic battlegrounds, 
one would expect all giving the same ish amount of honor, but some are vastly superior compared to others. In my math, I will exclude the daily random win, which grants me 450 honor and a bit of conquest for the first win, and 245 honor for any additional win. You have to decide for yourself is it something you can realistically get or not. On spot number 4 of the epic battlegrounds we have Ivy of Conquest. There is simply not much going on really besides some black. Every game will take minimum 20 minutes and there are no extra honor gains from anything. Spot number 3 we have Fintech Bars. Similar to the Ivy of Conquest it's a rather slow battleground with lots of vehicle action. Looking at an average 20 to 25 minutes per game, less if you attack, more if you defend. Destroying a boy as a attacker or the tower as a defender will grant you a bit of extra honor. Wintergrasp however has one special quest named Victory in Wintergrasp which grants you 1000 honor upon winning the battleground. You can complete the quest in any zone you like and if you need the two of duty achievements from either Battle of Azeroth or Shadowlands you can combine it with that. After having the quest completed but not turned in, you can activate war mode as you need war mode for the two of duty achievements, travel to the zone you need, say Voidun, place down your epic banner for the 15% extra honor, turn in the quest and receive the achievement. Now a couple informations about the quest itself, there are two versions of the quest, one for alliance and one for horde. As horde player you can get the alliance version of the quest via the mercenary mode and do the quest twice per season. The alliance faction can only do the alliance quest as there is almost never mercenary mode available for them. Both quests are technically once per season, in spite of that they do reset every 3 months. Overall not the easiest quest to complete as you need to win Winterbrest, still better than either of Conquest. Aitarik Valley is on the second best ranking spot, it has the quickest games, usually done in max 15 minutes with either a win or a lose unless you meet Russians and it's a Zerg. Every tower your team destroys grants you 20 honor before bonus and killing the final boss grants you an additional 125 honor, adding up to over 200, as much as a random epic battleground win after you gotten your first daily win. There also used to be a quest for 1500 honor after looting one storm crystal, unique to both horde and alliance, but it is bugged since Shadowlands start and can only be gotten by characters below level 50 during Korvac's revenge. Hopefully they will fix it someday as this quest is how I got most of my honor levels and it sucks it's not available anymore for other people. The best epic battleground for honor is Ashran. Ashran has one seasonal quest, again usually resets every 3 months, which rewards you with 1000 honor for turning in 50 artifacts. The seasonal quest compared to Wintergrass is shared so as a horde you cannot get a different version of the same quest in mercenary mode. You can also save 3 prison guards every 30 minutes, simply go to the horde base or alliance base depending on your faction and quite hidden there is a basement prison with 3 prisoners. Before the prisons there is one prison guard who drops a key, loot available for everybody in range with a 5 to 6 minute respawn timer and one more NPC just outside who drops another key. Each prisoner after being saved respawns after 30 minutes and grants 150 honor honor before modifiers. During battleground week for example with a banner as alliance you get 350 honor per prisoner. Besides those two things you can also farm artifacts, they come from almost everything in the zone, be it NPCs you can kill, killing enemy players and there are also around 15 to 20 small purple-ish loot able farms, bags and similar things in the battleground. Each of those purple things contain between 30 and 400 artifact fragments, kinda random how much you get. Every fragment you own can be turned in your faction base and the ratio is 5 fragments 1 honor before any modifiers. Don't forget to use your banner before turning them in. The best class to farm those fragments would be a druid as you can fly in the zone after looting this class specific epic book. While those are deleted if you leave Ashran, you can store them in your mailbox given you found a book but didn't loot it and soon it will be sent to your mailbox. This method allows you to fly right away upon entering a fresh Ashran. If you are truly insane and want to go for another level 500, I highly suggest to buy a second word of word of account to straight up double your honor gain, followed by Zemi, AFK, Leeching and Epic Battlegrounds. It's not the nicest thing you do, but I'm not your mobile compost. Small advice if you decide to use your second account, do not use names such as Ahu on your main and Ahu B on your second account. People can see your second account, but we don't need to make it too obvious. In the ball department we got 4 good balls available and maybe a fifth in 9.2. The two best balls are either the Arati Basin IE Com Stomp where you fight versus 15 IE NPCs or the classic Ashran which has no direct ending. 
both worlds are where we could and should be picked over any other PvP activity if they are up. I personally prefer the comp storm as you get lots of marks of honor and it's very relaxing, even AFK able, but other people swear on classic Ashwan being better as you can grind as much as you want and with also releasing prisoners every 30 minutes. Two notes for the RE brawl. First, as you win one game every 8 minutes, you will have to cycle your blue quality and epic quality banners, otherwise they will still have a cooldown. Second note is not only for the spoil, but for every ball. If you farm honor levels or marks, it's always good to cycle your characters for the weekly ball win quest, as well as the daily win bonus honor. Two other balls worth mentioning are the Cooking Impossible, a Mist of Vendaria base collect 30 ingredients ball, and the Warsong Scramble collect 10 flex ball. Cooking Impossible has some bugged honor modifier, means you get 20 to 40 honor, depending on your honor buffs, every 60 seconds for well doing nothing. If you also happen to win, you can get like 2k honor for a 50 minutes game. For the Warsong Scramble ball, every flag grants you 35 honor baseline, which is very decent as they are 10 flex per game. Quick bonus mention is the Temple of Hot Mogo Ball, a speed up version of the Code Mogo Normal Battleground, where everybody gets a short respawn timer and 50% haste. Usually the game is over in max 5 minutes, and if you win, you're looking at a good 1k honor. According to a blue post, the Fever 3 Solo Shuffle Ball in 9.2 will be the best for honor farming if it's up. The ball itself is 6 Fever 3 battles in a row does not have any rating gain MMR, however it is still a more serious activity compared to chilling in epic battlegrounds. I quote, finally when it comes to rewards, for the boy version of solo shuffle we are planning on making it pretty e efficient when it comes to honor. When available solo shuffle should be the most efficient way to earn honor for 9.2. Also solo shuffle's availability will be independent on the rest of the boys during 9.2 including its own button on the PvP pane, similar to Korok's Revenge. I'm not entirely convinced with that statement, yet I remain hopefully optimistic. And that's all I could think of. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see future guides, tips and similar content, feel free to subscribe. Have a good day, bye!